Retailers are increasingly revisiting their store labor. And that's because, first of all, the sales associates are having more service requirements, more tasks and activities. They're having to fulfill online orders, process online returns. Uh, labor costs and wage rates are increasing. And retailers are looking for a funding mechanism to invest in om omnichannel and other strategic investments. So with that said, as retailers look for efficiency, there's concern pursuing efficiency given the reality that the customer experience has influenced so much by the sales associate. In fact, our analysis shows for most retailers, the number one driver of customer advocacy and loyalty is the sales associate and the service they offer. Winning retailers actually can have their cake and eat it too, pursue efficiency and effectiveness, doing three things really well. First, they have a deep understanding of what matters most to their customers. This is by doing analysis and customer surveys to assess what really drives customer advocacy and loyalty and investing more time and resource into those things while at the same time taking time and resources away from things that don't matter as much to the customer. Second, they take a different mindset and approach to store labor by zero basing, moving away from last year's budget with tweaks and rethinking how can they redesign processes or eliminate activities entirely. And third, they invest in change management. They understand the importance of pilots and the store manager, giving the store manager tools with playbook, with action plans and coaching from a district manager. And this is how winning retailers are able to eliminate 10 to 15% of their costs while at the same time improving the customer experience.